guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel Archituber. I am Architect Web V and I make content related to architecture and interiors. If you are new here, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel below. So from the title you might have read, we are going to be discussing about stone as a building material. Yes, this is a new series of building materials wherein we are going to be discussing each of the materials one by one. So for the first video, we are going to be discussing about stone as a building material in which we are going to be covering different types of stones, properties of stones, its applications, how it has been used from the ancient architecture to modern architecture. So please stay till the very end. Do not forget to subscribe for upcoming videos and for more such videos. Now let us get started with today's video. Okay, so now let us start with today's PPT. Let us discuss about the stone material from the ancient era to the modern architecture times. So let me just give you a quick overview on the PPT. We are going to be first discussing about the history of stone in architecture. Okay, we are going to be exploring the ancient era wherein stones were used expensively. Then we will be discussing about different types of stones and the properties of stones. Okay, then we are going to be discussing about how stones are being used in construction and the applications of stones. Then we will be discussing about the modern architecture using stone. So starting with the introduction and history of stone. So we all know that stone were used extensively from the ancient period. So back from the prehistoric period to the modern era now, we are using stone still now. So the application might have changed. So the early use of stone in architecture times back to the ancient times. We all know that. So now discussing about the styles of stone used in architecture. So we all know that stone has been used in variety of architectural style it has different architectural style patterns it has its own characteristics features uh, the texture it can be used very creatively and now that we have learned about the Egyptian Mesopotamian Gothic Roman uh, then Romanesque Renaissance architecture we all know the stone has been the only and important material in all of this civilization then discussing about the modern use of stone in architecture. Today, stone is still a popular building material in modern architecture. It is used for both structural and decorative purposes and can be found in variety of applications. So the stone has different properties like strength, durability, resistance to weather, thermal weather conditions, then porosity, density, toughness, visual appeal and what not. So we are going to be discussing some of the major properties like strength. Stone has high compressive strength making it an ideal material for load bearing structures such as bridges, arches and pillars. Now discussing about the durability, stone is very durable which can withstand harsh weather conditions making it an ideal material for outdoor structures and it can be for anything for the elevation, monuments, statues etc. Then discussing about resistance to weathering, stone is resistant to weathering and erosion making it an ideal building material for structures that needs to withstand the test of time such as ancient ruins and historical monuments. Then we have aesthetic appeal. Stone has visual qualities such as color, texture and pattern that makes it very versatile material. So marble is prized for its veining and color variations while granite is valued for its grainy speckled appearance. Talking about the acoustic properties, the stone has the ability to absorb or reflect sound. So stones with high density like marble and granite are poor sound insulators due to their rigidity and lack of air spaces. Then discussing about the workability, the stone has ease with which the stone can be cut, carved or shaped. Limestones and sandstones are easier to work with compared to granite or marble, okay, which is harder to cut and shape. So discussing about the strength, stone is a strong and durable building material that has been used for centuries to construct some of the world's iconic architectural monuments like Great Wall of China and Parthenon in Rome. So the Great Wall of China is one of the most famous examples of stone masonry and engineering. It is an architectural marvel that has stood the test of time and is still a popular tourist destination. Then discussing about Pantheon in Rome is a 
magnificent example of stone architecture and engineering it is an iconic monument that has stood the test of time okay so when we talk about the durability pyramids of giza and colosseum in rome these are the two important and iconic examples okay the pyramids have stood for over 4500 years showcasing the durability of stone as a building material same goes with the colosseum in rome it is another example of durability as it was built over 2000 years ago and it is stood the test of time surviving earthquakes even being used as quarry for building materials in the middle ages talking about the resistance to weathering conditions we have yet to another iconic examples one is angkor wat temple complex and second is stone hinge monument so the temple complex in cambodia is one of the largest religious monuments in the world but entirely of stone its durability and resistance to weathering have helped it survive for over 800 years now discussing about stone hinge so the stone hinge monument in england is a prehistoric monument made up of large standing stones which has survived for over more than 4500 years so again for the aesthetic appeal we have two most iconic buildings one is taj mahal and one is notre dame de paris cathedral so both these buildings have intricate stone carvings that's why they are aesthetically appealing discussing about the acoustic properties so the stone has been used for its acoustic properties for thousands of years we will explore how sound shapes and manipulates stones how it is used in modern architecture so we have these two examples the colosseum and st paul's cathedral these are one of the most iconic examples for acoustic properties so talking about the colosseum in rome It is a famous example of stone architecture that was designed to amplify sound. The amphitheater was used for gladiator contests or other public spectacles. Then discussing about the St Paul's Cathedral which is in London is another famous example of stone architecture that was designed with the with impeccable acoustic properties. The cathedral uses stone to amplify sound and create a distinct acoustic experience for visitors. Now discussing about the workability stone is a highly versatile building material that can be shaped and carved to create intricate designs and patterns it has been a popular building material for centuries due to its durability and beauty we all know that but discussing about the workability we have two examples great pyramids and roman pantheon so discussing about the pyramids of egypt it is one of the most impressive structures ever built using stone they were constructed using a combination of shaping and carving techniques to create the intricate patterns and designs seen on their surfaces now discussing about the pantheon it is another impressive example of how stone has been used to create impressive structures built using a combination of various stone types and carving techniques it remains one of the best examples of roman architecture then discussing about different types of stone so for now we are going to be discussing about granite marble and limestone so granite is a popular choice of construction due to its durability hardness and resistance to weathering discussing about the marble marble is a metamorphic rock that is used in construction for its beauty and elegance then discussing about the limestone limestone is a sedimentary rock that is used in construction for its strength and durability it is often used for walls flooring and cladding let us learn about these three types of stones in detail now discussing about the igneous rocks igneous rocks are formed from solidified lava or magma and are known for their strength and durability now discussing about the uses they are used in the construction of architectural monuments due to their strength and durability now coming to the sedimentary rocks the formation of sedimentary rocks are formed from the accumulation of sediment and characterized by their unique texture and color they are formed by processes such as weathering erosion and deposition okay so the uses of sedimentary rock in architecture they have been used in architecture for centuries due to their unique texture and color the limestone used in construction of the great pyramid of giza is a famous example of the use of sedimentary rocks in architecture 
Now discussing about the metamorphic rocks. The formation of metamorphic rocks are the transformation of pre-existing rocks under the intense heat and pressure. This process leads to the creation of rocks with new mineral compositions and textures. Now discussing about the uses. These are used such as marble, slate and knees are commonly used in architecture due to their durability and aesthetic appeal. Okay. For example, it includes Taj Mahal and the slate used in roofing tiles. Okay, now discussing about granite. Granite is a highly durable, versatile and aesthetically appealing natural stone that has been used in architecture for centuries. Now talking about the properties, we have durability. Granite is one of the hardest materials. It is the resistant to scratches, weathering and making it an ideal for both indoor and outdoor applications. Density and strength. It is a high compressive strength which makes it an excellent choice for load bearing structures. Discussing about heat resistance, granite is naturally resistant to heat making it suitable for higher temperatures uh, which is such as kitchen countertops, fireplaces, okay. Then water resistance, it is less porous than many natural stones providing resistance to moisture. Discussing about the maintenance, granite is very easy to clean and maintain with an occasional sealing to maintain the luster and resist stains. Natural beauty, granite crystalline structures offers a natural luxurious appearance. Now talking about the applications, granite has been used for centuries now from the ancient times to the modern architecture. So discussing about marble, marble is a metamorphic rock formed from limestone or dolomite subjected to intense heat and pressure. It is known for its fine texture, polished surface, unique veining patterns with results from presence of impurities like clay, slit, sand, iron oxides and chert. Okay, so the properties of marble. Composition, it is primarily calcium carbonate. It is moderately hard. Density is relatively high and marble is porous material okay polishability is highly polishable achieving a glossy finish veining characteristics it veins formed from the mineral impurities adding aesthetic appeal color it comes in variety of colors but there are green pink yellow white gray black colors available okay now discussing about the applications it can be used in very much of extensive field such as sculpturing, interior decor, architecture, furniture design, religious architectural monuments and memorials. Okay. Now discussing about the limestone. It is a sedimentary rock composed primarily of calcium carbonate usually in the form of calcite or aragonite. It often contains traces of other materials such as clay, sand and organic matter. Limestone forms from the accumulation of shells, corals, algae or other organic debris in shallow marine environment. Over millions of years, pressure compacts this material into stone. So discussing about the properties of limestone, composition mainly calcium carbonate with impurities like clay, sand and iron oxides. Color, it ranges from light beige to dark grey color. Then texture, it is generally fine to medium grain. Durability, soft and porous when compared to the granite and marble. Porosity, limestone is porous, okay, allowing water to pass through which can cause erosion and weathering over time. Strength, less dense and less hard than other stones like granite or marble. Workability, it is relatively easy to cut, shape or carve. Now let us discuss about the advantages of stone as a building material. So durability, aesthetics and environmental sustainability that we have already discussed in the properties. But to discuss as for the advantages of building material. So stone is a highly durable material which withstands harsh weathering conditions to fire, wear and tear over time. It is also resistant to pests such as termites and requires minimal maintenance. Now aesthetic, stone has natural beauty and elegance that adds to a timeless appeal to any building. The unique colors, patterns, textures of natural stone creates a sophisticated and inviting atmosphere. 
when discussing about the environmental sustainability stone is an environmentally sustainable building material that is abundant and widely available it is also recyclable non toxic and does not emit harmful chemicals or pollutants now discussing about the challenges of using stone as a building material cost stone is an expensive building material compared to the other materials like wood concrete etc because of the cost of mining transporting cutting carving etc weight stone is heavy material and requires special equipment and techniques to handle and install discussing about the installation issues installing stone requires skill labor and expertise if not installed properly it can lead to issues like cracks leaks water damage the installation process is also time consuming and can add to the overall cost of the project and yes with that we have come towards the end of today's video if you like this video you know the drill please like comment share and subscribe to my youtube channel below i'll see you in my next video till then please take care and bye